Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and we are going to see if we can boost the power of a solar panel with mirrors. This is an 80 watt photovoltaic panel. It is monocrystalline and if you come over here you can see that I have the grid tie inverter hooked up and right now it is putting 54 watts back into the grid. The reason that I'm using this with a kilowatt meter, this represents a load on the system. This will take the maximum that this panel can deliver and give you the watts. So you're not just getting this high voltage and saying, well, it's up 30%. You're actually using the load. Now, an 80 watt panel through the inverter, that means that we're losing about 27 watts between this and it's also on a 100 foot extension cord. So that probably has a little bit to do with it. So 54 watts, solar panel, that's what the single panel is delivering. I have a mirror that's been broken. This is just the corner of it. So what I'm gonna do is lay this down like this. Actually, I'm gonna try to get the maximum surface area of the mirror to our solar panel without breaking stuff. So right now the mirror is adding, it's actually going pretty good across the solar panel. So the sunlight is coming from here down to the mirror up and we're also getting whatever the panel gets so the single mirror boosted us up to 60 watts so that mirror right there added six watts to our system considering that I got this mirror for free it adding six watts is not bad now a single mirror is not going to radically raise the heat of your solar panel if you were to put five two more than two mirrors on this you might damage the cells. I don't really know that for sure, but I'm going to go ahead and put two mirrors on it. So now I have another mirror. I've got that mirror and th that mirror. Th this one is aimed towards the top and we're going to see what the combination of the two mirrors does. So with that additional mirror, it added another four watts. So we are up to 64 watts. So we now have three mirrors on one panel and you can see that the last mirror added about two to three watts. By the way, the placement of the mirrors matters. If you focus too much on the bottom of the panel or the top of the panel, this actually drops to 61. So this is distributed pretty evenly. I'm going to try one more mirror and see if we can get this above 70. So this is a piece that I, from the satellite dish, that I have yet to complete. Um, what I'm doing is shining this over there and you'll see what we're doing. You can see that we're adding some light right there. And this pattern, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna tell you what the grid tie inverter is. It, okay, without it, it is 66 watts, 65 watts actually. So with that pattern right there, 69, 71, 70, 69. I'm tightening it on the bottom cells. 72. Now I'm going to move it up towards the top part. 67. It's got, it's really important with the monocrystalline cells or the cells that are tabbed in series that versus the amorphous cell that you balance the light evenly this distributes your power so if you're using mirrors you want to try to spread it as much as you can over so we are up to 70 70 watts and our wire smoking wow okay hold on where's it at so I'm disconnecting this because you can see that once we reach the 70 watt threshold this wire actually heated up too much so this is very, very fine wiring. You would not want to use this wiring for your project. So our solar panel survived the extra mirrors. We were able to go from about 54 watts up to a maximum of 71 watts with all the mirrors, 65 watts with three mirrors, and probably, probably expect to get about a 20% boost of power if you arrange the mirrors nicely. If you do that though, you will also need to consider a tracking device, which that's one way to increase the output of your panels too. 
The maximum temperature that this panel reached was 135 degrees Fahrenheit compared to about 115 degrees. So this did experience with the three mirrors about a 25 degree boost in heat production as well. So if you are going to do that, I, I don't know exactly the cost of solar going down like it is. Um, I think you'd save yourself a lot of aggravation if you just added another panel instead of getting a bunch of mirrors to boost one by 10 or 15 watts. I'm your host Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.